Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. Uh, we're continuing along in the mixed panel course. This is uh, the continuation of the last video which showed how to uh, track events client side. Um, as mentioned in the previous video, we're going to go over uh, setting super properties in mixed panel uh, from the client side as well. So you may be asking yourself, what is a super property? Uh, the mixed panel docs, which is right behind me on the screen here, do a really good job of explaining it, um, but they're essentially any property that you would want associated with uh, every single event being sent from a person. So for example, in their docs here, they show gender and age and source. Uh, typically, my gender does not change. Uh, I would want to persist something like an age and the source of my session, I would like to be included with all of the events that I send. So for example, before I sent a viewed location page, I would want with every location for the title to change, right? We, we sent in the broken spoke if I visited a different location, that's a property that I would want to change with which each event that I send. Uh, super properties are things that you would like to know with every event that don't change. Um, so for example, in this case, say I came from Facebook, every single uh, location that I view during this session is a byproduct of me coming from Facebook. So maybe every new session that someone comes in, uh, you reset that super property so you can see all the pages they viewed, how many pages they viewed by source, um, or a different example is you could do a super property register once, which is right here, uh, which is like my gender, right? My gender is not going to change um, throughout my life. So I would register that only once and say that, um, you know, every event I'm going to be a male and that is something that will persist across all of my future events. So I'm uh, go, going to go ahead and show you how to set this up now. You can just take this code, oops, sorry, this code directly from their docs. And in my case, I will open up uh, where we were just talking about in the individual locations page. Um, and I will take out this commenting here. And you'll see that these two match up, right? There's mixed panel register and their mixed panel register. Here, I just changed the properties a little bit. Um, so from here, I could um, use JavaScript to pull uh, the source and the medium, the refer source, anything that I really want to set here. Uh, you could do it when someone uh, submits a lead form with their gender, their age, or any of these things. You could pull any of those variables, variables from the client side and store them as their values. But for this case, I'm just going to do uh, static ones for the sake of time. I'm going to set uh, source to Google and medium to ads. So I'll call register before I call track in this case so it will associate those uh, with this event and I'll go ahead and hit save. And you could do this through Google Tag Manager. I'm just putting it into the individual uh, EJS template for uh, time's sake. So I'll go ahead and restart my application just so these updates take place. And now I will go ahead and visit test location two. So when I go back to the mixed panel live view and I wait for that new event to come through, you'll notice I now have medium and source set to Google ads, which is what we had right here. Um, so in this case, I can now go ahead and remove this register to show you the impact. Again, this would be coded in tiers, but I'm just gonna show you the, the point of having these is if I code this out, comment this out, and I hit save, and I restart again to update my files. So when I go back to view this broken spoke location page, that mixed panel register is no longer in the code, right? I called that event and now it should send this uh, source and medium with the next event despite the fact that I'm not calling it again. So if I go visit broken spoke, I hop back in here and wait for that event to come through. You'll see it still sends medium of ads and source of Google. And that's because I set that as the super property to be registered with every other event that uh, comes in through that session. So 
say this person comes back in a different session, it might be able to uh, notice that it's their first page view in a new session, and maybe I wanna change what those super properties are. So I will say, again, this is not necessarily what I would actually send, but it's more for the sake of the argument. I wanna send uh, source of direct and medium of traffic. So I'll shut that down again, restart. come in here, I'll go back to the broken spoke. And now when this event comes through, it should have overwritten that super property because I didn't set it to register once, which means you can never overwrite that super property. I just set it to register. So now I have a source of direct and a medium of traffic. But if you go back to my other sessions, it doesn't override that. You see, so I'll say during this session, I viewed these two pages and it was a source of Google and a medium of ads. And then now in this new ses session, it's a uh, source of direct and medium of traffic. So I can continue along, go to a different page. Uh, I was on the broken spoke, now I'll go to test location. And it should continue to send that um, direct and uh, traffic as the source and medium, even if the uh, register event wasn't on the page. Um, so essentially what that's allowing you to do and what we just did is we want to set super properties uh, that are uh, properties that will persist across all of the events and we want it to be uh, universally displayed on every event but not have to set it every single time. In that case, you would call um, mixpanel.register and if you want it to be an event that you can never override, for example, maybe gender uh, and it'll persist across all of that user's events forever, you would use uh, mixpanel.register once, which is uh, right here. So, so far we've covered how to uh, set up the tracking on the client side, how to send track events, uh, how to set super properties. And next we're going to be going into uh, aliasing, identify calls and setting up people properties. So stay tuned uh, and make sure to watch the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks guys.